Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya slivers. We won the die roll. Let's uh, face off against Calculator of Justice here. Okay, all right. I can dig it. We will keep. Start off with that Blossoming Sands. Get things rolling. Take off this stop here from Infect. All right, pass to them. Uh, it's Friday. We just finished up our league on Wednesday with this deck. It did not perform very well, or I did not perform very well for the deck. Um, let's see here. They're playing white. I think we'll still go plated into Viverlint. Still seems reasonable. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I played uh, egregiously bad, uh, but we had some really tough matchups against opponents that knew really how to play against our deck very well and do a very good job when I went up against some hard opponents. Uh, the last thing I would have to say about the league is uh, there's still hope for Nia Slivers, even though it didn't perform very well with me. Uh, I did just, like, as soon as the league ended, the next day I was looking on, on stats and stuff, and the deck did just go... Um, 5-0 in a recent popper league, which is awesome. 5-0 for nice slivers, pretty much the exact same deck list, everything, uh, which is great. It's really great. So good for the good for the sliver community. I'm gonna cycle a land here, get a mountain, so we can play the striking when we need to. And we're just gonna put down a lord still. So yeah, we're not without hope, but. Uh, we did, just didn't perform very well in our league. <laughs> uh, but I want to do it again. I still really think we could do a lot better. We adjusted the sideboard a little bit accordingly. Um, prevent all costs. Sure. Four damage. Sure. Holy day. There's going to be a lot more coming next turn. So, Yeah, so I'd like to obviously do more leagues again in the future when I have some extra money. I've used up all my points and stuff, so when I get some extra cash, I would like to do more leagues. Uh, so leave a like below, leave a comment if you do want to see more of that. Um, I, would, I would like to be able to do that in the future. We're going to go striking. We're going to go sinew. We're going to play a forest. And we're going to swing. And see if they've got prismatic strands or something. This is just a weird white fog deck. I don't get it. Like, what's the point? Will Ashburn's at end of turn for eight planes? And try to thin our deck of lands a little bit. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the league, though. Even though we uh, had a losing record, we went two and three. Uh, but it was still fun. We still beat um, Boros Aggro, things like that. Uh, some weird rampy Eldrazi deck, which isn't really surprising, but, you know, it is what it is. And we still draw land. That's sweet. Well, let's try this again. This just uh, looks to be like a really annoying Mono White Fog deck. Rental Combat Damage, sure. Man, how many of these are in the format? It's crazy. Counter target spell that counters you. Regenerate target creature. Okay. I just wanted to see what else. That's a pretty good card, though. Dawn Charm. Haven't seen that one. Okay. We pass. We need a refill. <laughs> Not like it's really mattering right now. They are just doing absolutely nothing but flooding on a bunch of mana, too. You gain two life. If you have more life than your opponent, draw a card. Well... It's got rebound. How do you rebound it? If you cast a spell from your hand. Okay, cast it at the beginning of your next upkeep. Okay. Sure. Well, alright, we get a predatory. And we'll see if they have another Dawn Charm in their hand, I suppose. They do. Okay. This is a really annoying deck that I hate. Like, what? This feels a lot like the Simic Mill deck I went up against a long time ago, where it was like 
It was Mill, but it was with Jace's Erasure, and they just played a bajillion fogs and milled me, like, for five cards over the entire course of the game. And I just waited until they ran out of stuff and then killed them. Finally, they ran out of card draw, they ran out of uh, fogs, and that was it. Protection from monocolored, I don't care about you because I am bigger and stronger than you right now, so. And we've got a flanking. So, chew on that. We're going to rock in there. I ain't scared of no mono white fog. Jeez. They have all the Dawn Charms. It's ridiculous. So what do you do? Just play with a bunch of Guardian of the Guild packed. Play a bunch of Fogs and then swing in with your Guardian or something. Is that how it be? I mean, if that's how it be, that's pretty scummy. Scummy deck. Draw a card. Draw another card next turn. Sure, sure, sure. Keep getting lands. That's very annoying. Um, Alright. Can't block this thing since protection from mono colored. So we got to just try to swing in. Uh, that's really annoying. I was worried about a card like that. I guess this is the point where we only swing in for lethal if we have to. Which is pretty much everything right now. <laughs> Slivers has been getting beat down this week, so we need a win here. At least you got to see a Slivers win earlier in the week from our mill video. <laughs> if you haven't seen that one, we went up against nice Slivers versus our mill deck. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Link in the description. Um, sacrifice. And you gain life equal to what you've lost this turn. Awesome. That's exactly what we want to see. This is the most stupidest deck I've ever seen. But they are starting to run low on cards. And we do outpace them quite a bit on the race once they do run out of cards, so. Um. So how do we want to do this? Can't even kill them. But we'll, we can make them sack this. They lose a bunch, but then they gain a bunch. We'll play out the planes just in case we get Blade back on. Yeah, I mean, we're going to make them use what they have. I don't care. We have to start racing their clock, even if they crack him. I guess we don't have lethal yet, so they'll go down pretty low. Then they can crack him. Do whatever. They'll cycle. You gain Shroud until end of turn. Okay. We're not targeting them, so that's a appropriate cycle. We're going to get them on this poisonous, though. Got to watch out for that. Go to nine, sack, gain it all back. Yep, back to 37. We're just whittling down their hand. We just wait till their hand is empty. That's it. So we'll draw another card. Absolutely. They'll draw one or two. Oh, they just drew one for the turn. Okay, so they got a land. That's good. Get another one of these. This is the dumbest deck I've ever seen. The absolutely most atrocious deck I've ever seen. They're starting to get a little bit of a clock with the Guardians. So I was right. They just play with Guardians and they just swing in till you're dead. And just fog till they can kill you. Um, but you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna kill them with Poisonous next turn if they don't have another Fog. Can't kill them with Lethal yet, but, uh, Poisonous is on the way, and, uh, looks like they know that, so we will begin the sideboard. <laughs> yes, we want that. Yes, we want this. Um, let's see here. 
Mm -mm. They didn't really have any flashback. They just had the one rebound. Uh, we will get rid of our striking, get rid of our hunter. Won't make any difference in this matchup. Drop one blade back. No, that's actually the best way to get around damage in this matchup. Uh, so I guess we will drop a winding way. And we'll run it like that. We got a lot of tools for them. Flaring pains, fireballs, all the good stuff. But now we just do the long, monotonous task of waiting till they go empty-handed. We will definitely keep this. It's a good hand. So... Like I said before, uh, League ended on Wednesday for you guys. I pre-recorded it like a week ago or so. So um, I'm hoping that uh, you guys have given me suggestions for sideboards or what you guys might think considering what we did in the League. Uh, I think I made pretty good sideboard changes, but you get, if you guys have any other ideas, just feel free to let me know what you all think. Pass with the goods. Alright. Just gonna go plated here into Viverlance. Just start getting in for that poisonous if we can. Sneaky, sneaky poisonous. Will they take one damage? They will. Oh, They were scared to take four last time, but now they're taking one. That one poisonous is going to be their undoing. Watch this. <laughs> so we'll just play leads and winding ways as we go. I'm going to drop a lord next turn and just keep beefing on them as much as I can. Because, again, it's just wait until they run out of cards. Three lands. Uh, four cards in hand. They got one of these guys. They're going to start the survival cachet. Cash, cache, however you want to say it. Um, let's see. I could just drop the gem hide too, just to really get stuff going. Sure, we'll we'll do both. We'll we'll just go empty-handed. It's fine. Swing with our two plateds. So what should we call this video? Most annoying deck ever? Um, white weenie? Because he's playing like a white weenie, even though this isn't a white weenie deck? <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. Probably something like that. Annoying's got to be in the title, I think. Annoying deck. When you play annoying decks. <laughs> in the practice room. Keep drawing their lands, that's good. I'd rather see them draw lands than their stupid spells. But now, they're gonna pacifism our predatory. Fine. Fine, fine. As we saw from my mill video, my mill video though, that just doesn't stop the pump of the team, which is unfortunate for them. Uh, what do I want here? I guess it doesn't really matter. Go Winding Way. We find another Predatory anyways. Keep swinging in with these Plateds. Why not? Six damage. Six damage isn't anything to scoff about. You know? Oh, I should have... Could I still have used him as mana? I definitely should have, and that was a mistake. For some reason, I was thinking he's just, like, mute to the board. But he definitely is not, and I'm gonna... Yep. 
I can definitely still do that. And I could have swung in for another creature, but it doesn't matter. They prevented the combat damage, so whatever. It's fine. Again, just waiting till they go empty-handed. If they can't draw their, draw their uh, card advantage, uh, their card draw, that's where they're just their deck is going to suffer. They can only do so much for so long. They got two of these. I'll give them two extra turns. We can wait. We're fine. Plated Muscle. That was a pretty terrible lead the Stampede, but you know what? It's fine. We're not in any massive rush here. So now we'll do this. Play it out correctly how we should have the, the last time. Let's put this one like that. Start going to town with four sevens. Mm-hmm. One card in hand, and then they gotta start sacking these children. We're getting this win. I'm gonna let them take their turn. I'm gonna actually update this. We actually go to ten losses here. I'll say okay to that. And thirty-nine wins. That's uh the update from after the league, basically. Uh, another Sidewinder, sure, absolutely. Uh, we're actually just going to swing in with whatever's considered lethal. Uh, so... 16, 20. Uh, just in case they got that card that gains them real life. So we'll do it like that. That way they don't gain as much as if we swung in with three extra creatures or what have you. Yep. Dawn Charm. Yeah, so 39-10. Definitely coming up on our 40th win here, so we would have played 50 games with this Nia Slivers build. Uh, you guys have pretty much seen them all besides the crappy games that just aren't worth posting. Uh, and by crappy, I mean like our opponent left game one or something like that, not like ones where we just lose and got obliterated. I still post those, actually. <laughs> Some people wouldn't, but I, I post them, even though... Uh, I'll get backflash from people and be like, you should have played it like this, you should have played it like that. Listen, we all make mistakes. It's just how it goes sometimes in Magic. I'm still learning. I'm still a noob at this game. I'll be honest. If anybody thinks I'm some kind of pro that knows what they're doing, I don't. I'm still learning this game. I make mistakes. I'm still learning new, uh, new um, ways to play the game and, you know, uh, different things, uh, mechanics, stuff like that. You know, with each new set and stuff, something else gets brought up. I've been watching Magic for years. I've only been playing it for about two and a half, three. Yeah, probably close to three years I've been playing Magic. But that's it. And that's pretty, uh, that's pretty new for a Magic player, all things considered. So, they're blocking here. So, they're going to pop both these. Double up a little bit. Yep, double the double up. That work how they wanted it to, though? Oh, we just... They couldn't even sack it to get it because we put the pressure on them in, in the right way. Yeah, we just... They could have actually just blocked one and then got life back, so they messed that up. They could have chump blocked one, taken four extra damage, and then gained a bunch back, so they made a mistake. In any case, uh, I, I, I post the, the bad losses too sometimes, uh, which is funny. But yeah, they just got a children, and that's all you do with this deck. You just wait till they're out of cards. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, that video. Thanks for checking out the league last week and sticking with me over the sliver times that we've been going through. And as we update and conform to the meta, it's been a lot of fun. I have still really love the Nia deck. And again, like I said in the beginning... People are going 5-0 with it. We just need to play tighter and play better, play smarter, and we'll get there too. So, uh, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content that's coming out, and we will see you guys in the next video.